the following video contains a new breed of AR build. Viewer discretion is advised. Chances are you're about to lose. Emotional damage! Have you ever gotten a Snapchat from a girl? Nope. Anyway, watch this. An agent from your clan has joined your team. Goose is there too. Detected. Get shit on you fucking loser. Payback the motherfucker, ain't it? Oh dear, we are in trouble. Fast as fuck, boy. Still fast as fuck, boy. Come get some. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! That right there is emotional damage. Jesus Christ! Now detecting contaminated gear. Rogue Defender. Hostile Defender.
defender drone. Detected. Extraction called for. Another one. DZ drop claimed by A Shade agent. Nearby agent has gone rogue. Don't do it. 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 Whoa, 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 no, no, we're not doing that, no. So, Deactivated. Rogue I broke with so, a chest, we've got the two piece of that we're getting a skill tier plus the mag size, headshot and crit, and then G'day champions, how's it going? And welcome back to another Division 2 build video. Today we're going to be checking out just one of my title update 20 capacitor builds. Since the changes to re-rolling the third attribute on all our exotic weapons, I've had heaps of people asking for a capacitor build. The main reason is now that we can have both damage to armor and damage to targets out of cover on this AR. The capacitor is the only assault rifle in the game that allows us to do this. 
Now, I could have gone the easy path and slapped the capacitor straight on my meta build. And yes, I did that to start with. The exact same meta build that I used in the Shield Splinter video. If you haven't checked it out yet, go give it a watch after this. While the capacitor is still amazing on that setup, I wanted to mix it up and bring something a little different. I think I've landed on a nice balance of damage and survivability on this one. We have 10 core attributes, 54% crit hit chance and 171% crit hit damage. Look, there's a heap of different ways that you can run your capacitor builds, but as you all saw from that opening gameplay, the build slaps. It's one of those builds that's not overly difficult to farm for or to put together, but I've got to remember not to hard face trade so often. At the end of the day, this build does exactly what it does. It destroys players, and it's a lot of bloody fun. Righto, so welcome back to all you amazing subscribers, and if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, make sure that you smash that subscribe button. If everyone can take a quick moment to engage with this video, a like, a share, a comment, it all helps with the magic and the wizardry of the YouTube algorithm. 200 likes on this video would be amazing. If you want to support the channel further, check out our channel memberships. Click the join button below to see all the perks. And if you want to catch me live in action, jump on over and drop a follow on Twitch. The link for all my other socials are in the description below. Righto, with that out of the way, let's check out the build. Two reds, five blues, one skill tier, and we are just under that 1.8 million in armor. But Plum, you clickbait son of a bitch, you said there's 10 core attributes, and that's only 8. Well, Brazo is going to give us an extra skill tier, and the holster also has that fixed 15% weapon damage, so that's 10. If we wanted to go full clickbait with this one, we could. Our two skill tiers are going to give our capacitor another 15% weapon damage, which makes 11 core attributes. But we won't. The main two items that this build surrounds is one, the capacitor, and two, our ninja bike messenger backpack. For the specialization, you could go a couple of different ways. It just depends if you want to run firewall and get a stronger self armor kit, or you can run survivalist for that shared team armor kit. You did see in the opening gameplay how strong it was keeping my teammates alive in the stairwell. Again, it is player preference, and you can swap and change as needed. For our primary weapon, we're going to be using the capacitor. This one, I have spent a lot of resources to expertise to level 25. This expertise increase works in the dark zone, but not in conflict. On this one, we've got assault rifle damage, damage to armor, and damage to targets out of cover. And because of the way we've got the build set up, we've got a massive 61 rounds in this magazine. Now, the capacitor's talent doesn't really have a damage based talent but we do gain 7.5% weapon damage for each skill tier that we have. On this build, we have two skill tiers, so that's 15% weapon damage. For our secondary, I am running an M870 shotgun with the talent Optimist, but it is player preference on what you want to use. Now for the gear on the build, we're going to kind of go in reverse order, and we're going to start with our Ninja Bike Messenger backpack. This is an exotic item that's part of the general loot pool, so it should be pretty easy to get. It gives us one of each core attribute, and I've got a 12% crit hit damage mod. The talent's called Resourceful, but basically what this talent does is it acts as a wild card to unlock other gear sets or brand set bonuses. If you don't have or you don't want to use this specific item, unfortunately this whole layout and build probably is not going to work for you. For the mask, we've gone with Providence Defense. It's going to give us 15% headshot damage and 10% crit hit chance. This one, I've gone all red. Weapon damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and a crit hit damage mod. For the chest piece, I've gone with the Bellstone Armory Everyday Carrier. We get 1% armor regen and 10% armor on kill from our brand set. We have max armor, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and a crit hit damage mod. The talent is perfectly efficient, using an armor kit has a 75% chance of not consuming the kit. Specialization armor kit bonuses are increased by 100%. This is where we're going to be going back to our specialization. If you use firewall, you're going to have an insanely strong armor kit. However, if you're going to be using survivalist, that's a huge survivability increase for you and your team. 
for the holster, we've gone with the Picaros. Brazo gives a skill haste, a skill tier, and plus 50 mag size. That mag size gives us 61 rounds in our capacitor. If we weren't running this setup, we'd only have 40. We've gone with armor, crit hit damage, and it's got that fixed 15% weapon damage. For our knee pads, we've gone with Walker and Harris. We get 5% weapon damage and 5% damage to armor. Damage to armor is multiplicative damage, and we've got max armor, crit hit damage, and crit hit chance. And the last item that we're looking at are our Brazo gloves. Again, max armor, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage. So just recapping, the Ninja Backpack acts as the wild card, which is going to give us our two pieces of Providence, two pieces of Bellstone, two pieces of Walker and Harris, and three pieces of Brazo. For the skills on the build, it's going to be player preference, and you can swap and change as needed. I do like the Defender Drone, because I've expertise it, I get nearly 20% damage reduction in PvP. And also the decoy is really good, but if I want to, I can swap to Riot Foam, EMP Sticky, Fire Sticky, whatever. Righto, fine print time champions, let's check out our stats. We have 54% crit hit chance and a massive 171% crit hit damage. 90% headshot damage, 17% damage to armor, and we also have that 10% damage to targets out of cover. We have a whopping 100% all weapon damage and 30% AR damage. And for the defensive stats, as I said, we are just under 1.8 million in armor. So no clickbaity stuff on this one. But that's the build champions, it's one of my many title update 20 capacitor builds. There's plenty of ways to run it, but I'm loving this way. It slaps, it shreds, and it destroys in PvP, but the most important thing is it's a lot of bloody fun. So what do you reckon? Are you going to be a champion and have a crack at this build? What modifications would you make? Let me know down below. Thanks for tuning in champions, and make sure that you show your support by smashing the like button on this video, and if you're not already, please subscribe. Everyone's support is always greatly appreciated, and I hope to catch you all in the next one. I'm Plum, Plum out.